Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike uh, March 5th. We got just a couple of economic news releases today, and we'll start before the big one tomorrow. Will be, tomorrow will be the jobs report, so that will be the big one. Uh, so get prepared uh, for a little bit more volatility tomorrow. We'll start off today with the weekly jobless claims. Last week we had 313,000 people apply for unemployment. The forecast for this week was at 301, and it jumped up to 320,000 people. So this past month, basically, we've been over the 300,000 threshold, which is not good news because it took a while for us to even get below that. And now we jumped kind of above that, so we've been losing a little bit. So it kind of makes you wonder what the jobs report's going to look like tomorrow uh, that maybe might come in kind of low or not too good uh, with this with this amount of weekly jobless claims, the increase we've been kind of seeing the past month. Um, next one is the productivity for the fourth quarter. We had a negative uh, pullback of 1.8%, and the forecast is supposed to worsen to 2.2%, uh, and it came in at expectations. Uh, unit labor costs went up, as you can see. Uh, so productivity went down and unit labor costs went up. So obviously not a good mix right there. So we had a 2.7% on the first reading. And then uh, the forecast was at 3.2 and ex exceed that up to 4.1 rather. Um, so obviously, not, obviously that's not the greatest. And the other hand, we also got factory orders. Uh, we had contraction. So it pulled back in the month of um, December at negative 0.28%. Uh, with port forecast is supposed to be at negative 0.3% uh, for January, and it came in slightly better at 0.2% uh, pullback. So, again, uh, contraction factories. So, overall, not a good uh, economic day of what we're seeing here today. Uh, stock market's currently up. It's kind of building up for tomorrow's numbers, so they're kind of thinking maybe they're, they're kind of expecting a little bit maybe better numbers, but, you know, based on this information, uh, you know, stock market should be technically down. Uh, but they're also up a little bit due to the European Central business plan. Uh, Draghi was speaking today. They're going to announce a $1 trillion uh, bond purchasing program. It will be released on Monday, begin on Monday, uh, kind of like our uh, QE or uh, bond purchases here in the U.S. Uh, some investors are kind of wondering if it will really work because here basically it avoided a collapse but really didn't spur our growth and then are kind of really needing more of a spur in their growth pattern in Europe. So some people kind of wonder if it will really kind of work uh, better than how it worked here in the U.S. Uh, bond market, uh, we ended the day a little bit higher than we were yesterday, but right now we're only down about one base point. So uh, really not enough to make a difference in the pricing. So we are about the same where we left off yesterday in terms of our pricing for interest rates today. Hey, uh, also, uh, just a quick little tip regards to reverse mortgages. Uh, I didn't typically have been sitting at the end here, but uh, uh, for people who are looking to buy uh, retirees, uh, we're finding that since it's been shown about people who've been selling their homes that qualify reverse mortgages, uh, instead of buying downsizing, a lot of them are actually uh, about almost 50%, about 47% are actually going uh, upsizing. And one of the things that you can look at perhaps is uh, how much money they've gotten from the house and then double that. So uh, as long as the value is up to no more than 625, you could this would be applicable. So in this scenario, an illustration would be if somebody who sold their house, uh, walks with like $200,000, they could easily qualify for about $400,000 property. So this is something to kind of keep in mind that for realtors who are working with people who are in this scenario that want to use a reverse mortgages or borrowers who want to come in and uh, maybe uh, re that are qualified for re reverse mortgages and want to utilize this program. Uh, just a quick little tip that can help you uh, engage in the, your mind what you could probably qualify uh, based on uh, this, these type of numbers with this information. All right, folks, you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is the jobs report day, so it'll become a big day uh, in terms of what the investors will be looking for. All right, thanks again for watching. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.